okay uh, in this video we'll see uh, <coughs> the further analysis of this 4 bit binary adder so this is the implementation of a 4 bit uh, binary adder using four full adders the inputs to this particular uh, full adder is coming from c in and uh, there is a, a p0 uh, uh, g0 of course this is actually p0 g0 and then it is p1 g1 and then p2 g2 and p3 g3 so make sure that this is g0 and this is p1 so this p and g's are nothing but okay as we already know so this is actually p's and g's so p is uh, actually propagate of carry which is a exclusive b and g is nothing but generation of carry which is a and b a and b so let us consider an example which is uh, having uh, four bits of a and four bits of b which is now here it is one zero one zero and then zero one zero one suppose if the scene happens to be one we know that okay as per manual calculation so it is one plus one zero with a carry one and then it is again this is what the final output you are supposed to get so all the four some bits are zero and the carry out is actually one if you actually find out uh, the delay that is associated uh, in getting this particular answer the uh, delay of the t adder will be uh, it takes uh, three times the uh, t carry uh, delay plus t sum so this is what is the total overall time that is required so it is uh, three times t carry plus t sum which is exactly on the lines of uh, the worst possible uh, time for an adder that is required to propagate this carry uh, almost n minus 1 times okay where n happens to be the number of bits of uh, the upper ends it is n minus 1 in this case it is 4 minus 1 which is 3 t carry plus t sum so <coughs> this is the usual uh, time that is required to uh, generate the final adder output so instead of uh, going this technique so let us again go back to this uh, and then try to see okay how can we just slightly modify this circuit so that we can able to get the answer quickly so next is uh, this particular uh, configuration where you can see the same full adder uh, sorry the same 4 bit adder uh, has been slightly modified of course this is again p0 g0 p1 g1 and then p2 g2 uh, you can see this is the C in that is the input for the uh, first full adder and this is the final uh, carry output so we are calling this as carry bypass adder or uh, carry uh, skip adder so what happens here is <coughs> so we are having a mux here so this mux is nothing but okay let me just show you in, in, in the camera okay how it happens so this is what we are trying to do now so there is a p0 to p1 p2 p3 so which are actually generated from uh, p0 is actually the xor of a0 and b0 and p1 is the xor of a1 b1 likewise it goes and you can see this uh, p0 p1 p2 p3 will be 111 if these two are dissimilar so especially in this particular case suppose if you consider this as a0 b0 and a1 b1 a2 b2 and a3 b3 since these two are exclusive i'll get p0 as 1 and this is uh, of course we're going to get so what is p0 is equal to it's actually uh, a0 exclusive b0 in this particular case it is 1 so p1 is also 1 p2 is also 1 and p3 is also 1 so we have all the bits as 1 1 1 so we know that the uh, and gate output will be 1 so this will be uh, used as select pin for this particular uh, mux so this is a 2 is to 1 mux here this is a 2 is to 1 mux so I have got this as my i0 and i1 i0 and i1 as long as of course we know that uh, the two table of uh, uh, mux is suppose if, if you are taking this is my select line so this is my uh, output to y so if select line is 0 so my output is i0 if select line is 1 my output is i1 you can see now i1 is connected with c in 0 that is of course we actually have this okay four full adder uh, bits here this is actually c in 0 which is also connected to <coughs> i of 1 of course we know that okay this carry will ripple and then i'll have this uh, co3 which will be connected to this here so this is my 
full ladder uh, 0, this is full ladder 1, this is full ladder 2, full ladder 3. So they have been supplied with uh, uh, P's and G's. So this is P0, G0, this is P1, G1. Uh, <coughs> of course, how do we get this P0, G0 is it, it is using these particular uh, AND gate and XOR gates. So once I have this, assume that uh, I give this type of combination. So my A0 for uh, A input and B inputs are 1010. As we already saw it here, so this output is 1. Since this output is 1, what will happen is whatever is your carry input will be the output here. Suppose you can see here, if the carry in is 1, if the carry in is 1, we are supposed to get a carry out as 1. Suppose in if for the same combination of uh, uh, A and B, suppose if carry in is 0, if the carry in is 0, I'm supposed to get a carry out also as zero because if you again do that uh, operation as we usually do in, in, in manual case suppose if the carry in is zero it is the sum output is one 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 and the carry output is zero you can see here <coughs> since uh, a and b's are uh, okay something like okay zero one zero one and one zero one zero as long as a and b's are giving a p naught to P0, P1, P2, P3 as 1, whatever is your carry in will be the carry out. So assume that okay, all of them are 1, as in this case, if carry in is equal to 0 here, my output is also 0 because it won't ripple through this, but instead I will get the carry out directly from this because this my P0 is, sorry, uh, this, this I'll call it as bypass carry. So this is BP will be 1 if all of them are propagating the carry. So why it is called as P0, P1, P2, P3 is so because they are used to propagate the carry. If the zero is the input carry, then it will be propagated till the output of fourth uh, full adder because all the P's are 111. Suppose if one of the P is zero, then in such case, it just goes through the normal path. So why this is called as bypass carry is it is this carry, this carry will be bypassing all these full adders provided all the full adders are propagating the carry. So in such case, so here you can see for this particular combination, I had the propagation delay of this 4-bit uh, adder as 3, okay, 3 times T carry and 1 sum. What will happen in my case, okay, if I use this uh, equation if, if I use this circuit is T carry okay sorry T adder would be simply the time required to generate the sum suppose uh, if, if a sum requires more time than okay this and this because all of them will happen simultaneously either it is uh, the time required for generating the T adder that is the final output would be either T sum or T max plus uh, T, uh, T uh, AND gate, whichever is the largest one. Suppose if your T sum takes more time, then the time required for getting the final output is T sum. Suppose if your max and this AND gate takes more than the time for your T sum, then the time required to get the final output. That is when I say final output, it is either this or this, depending on the value of C. Uh, I hope okay, this is fine here. So what happens here is, whatever is your C in is equal to output carry provided all the P's are 111. So when does all the P's are 111? Only when both the input that is A and B's are dissimilar. Of course, uh, if you can see here, the idea here is if P0, P1, P2, P3 is equal to 1, then C03, C03 is equal to actually C in. Otherwise, you just kill or generate that of course kill or generate depends on okay, uh, it has to propagate through this one. So that purely depends on what the value of your uh, because we know that what is what is carry is equal to. So we know that C is nothing but uh, generate plus P into C generate plus P into C. So if one of the uh, P is 0, if one of the P is 0, then this will be 0, then it will be selecting this. So as we saw it here. As we saw it here, suppose if P, uh, BP is equal to 0, if BP is equal to 0, it will select this as my uh, output pin. 
So what is this output? This actually comes, uh, the required output will be coming. Suppose if you take this particular combination where you have something like, okay, it is 1, 0, 1, 0, and then it is, assume that it is, uh, uh, this is what? 0, 0, 1, uh, 0, something like this. Suppose if I take it as, uh, of course, in this particular case though, now it is, okay, now let me just take a different combination. It is 1, 0, 1, 0. Let me take it as, uh, okay, let me take this as 1, 1. 0, 1, something like this. Suppose if your carry in is 1, if carry in is 1, you can see uh, here P0 is uh, P0 is actually 0, okay, P0 is 1, uh, sorry, P0 is 0, P1 is also 0, P2 is also 0, P3 is also 0, because these two are similar. So uh, both A and B are similar. In such case, my uh, this output is equal to 0. If this is 0, then this is selected. When do you get a proper carry? Of course, uh, the expected output is, what is this? This is 1, 1, this is 1, 0, 1. So this is the expected output. You will get it exactly after T carry plus T sum. So this, whatever whatever uh, max and AND gate you have will not be useful if any one of the P is 0. Of course, in this case, we have all of them as 0. Even if you have a condition, something like this, okay, you assume that it is now, uh, it is 1, 1, it is 1, 0, 0, 1, and then 1, 0. Even though you have, okay, this uh, P0 is only 0, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1. This is not, again, making this to bypass. So, it has to now pass through this entire section. So, this circuit is useful if uh, all the P's are 1. Or when does all the P's are 1? If, if all the... Uh, Okay, combination of A naught and uh, A's and B's are this. Okay, we'll just go here and then, uh, of course, this is for a 4-bit uh, binary adder. So that can be extended to, uh, of course, more number of bits. I can see we have a 16-bit uh, adder using that uh, carry bypass adder. So you can just uh, see how it is happening here. So if you can carefully look at it, so we have four bits. Okay, uh, this setup time is the time required to generate uh, P's and G's. So this is actually generating P and G, and this is again generating P and G, and these P and G's as a, along with C in will generate the carry, and of course uh, the same is used for generating the sum, getting the sum. So assume that now, if if you can see here, this is actually a four bit, uh, okay, four bit binary adder. This is four bit binary adder. So we totally have totally sixteen bits, and uh, it's like okay, we have a n, we have a m here. So n is nothing but uh, total number of bits, which is sixteen. M is nothing but so that sixteen has been divided into four different stages. So this m is actually four bit now. So zero to three, which is actually four bit, is your uh, m bits. Uh, if you can clearly see here, to get the uh, final output of your T adder, it requires the time required is uh, the time that is required to get the uh, output of this setup. So the output of this setup is nothing but uh, P's and G's. So this P0, P1, P2 uh, and then P0 to P3 and G0 to G3 have to come. So they will actually make this uh, carry generation because carry is nothing but, uh, as we already saw in the previous case, carry is nothing but G plus P into uh, C in. So now again, uh, carry will be propagating through this section or it will be carry will be bypassed depending on the values of uh, uh, P, P naught to P3. If all the P's are uh, one, it will simply bypass through this marks. Otherwise it just propagate through this one. So you can see now uh, this is the uh, one of the possible uh, time that is required to generate the 16 bit 16 bit uh, full adder output. If you can see uh, this T adder is nothing but uh, time required to generate this P's and G's plus uh, assume that uh, uh, a set of input is such that it will going to propagate through this one. Now assume that this one of the P of this particular 4-bit uh, uh, binary adder is equal to 0, then carry will going to propagate through this one. That's why it is M into T carry. And then you can see, uh, assume that okay, all the P's of this, this and this are actually 
111 so that now carry is now simply bypass through this now you can see there is a carry bypass uh, through this one through this one so that's why it is n minus uh, sorry uh, n by m so this n is actually uh, 16 by 4 which is uh, 4 minus 1 which is 3 you can see now it is passing through this mux because whether it is going through this or this it has to flow through this particular mux so that's why it is the time required to pass through this uh, mux is nothing but bypass and then you can see here uh, once it reaches this point so again it has to propagate through this particular thing it is n minus 1 t carry plus t sum so why it is taken as m minus 1 t carries because suppose if i take it as uh, simply m t carry i have to neglect this t sum so since i'm uh, considering that uh, t sum and 1 t carry are same i'm just making uh, i'm just giving the time required to generate 1 t carry is equal to t sum so this is the overall time that is required to generate uh, the full adder output using these bypass adders for 16 bit binary adder of course we can take up an example and then try to verify uh, how is what is the exact time that is required to generate uh, the overall t adder output we will we'll just take up an example in, in the next video and then try to show that okay the time required to generate the full adder output for 16 bit uh, adder is actually this time